This video is for my dog, Brother Max. He was 12 and a half, possibly 13 years old. This is him at our vacation in the Outer Banks. This is Max on the beach in Outer Banks. These pictures are random. They're not in, they're not in a um, graduated age group. This is Max on the beach in Outer Banks. This is my wife holding Max on the beach in Outer Banks. This is my wife walking Max at the Outer Banks. This is Max once again at the beach looking at the water. This is me holding Max in a vacation cottage at the Outer Banks. This is Max with one of his um, articles of clothing. He did have his own clothes. And I believe this is also in the Outer Banks. That was his little sailor shirt we bought him. This is me walking Max along... Um, it looks like uh, Virginia, Deer, Virginia Deer Trail in the Outer Banks. This is Max noticing that his mommy's coming back from a souvenir hunt at Pelican Shores in uh, Kitty Hawk, North Carolina, the Outer Banks. Max again on beach. Max looking at the water at the Outer Banks. Max trying to drink salt water, which isn't a good idea. Max is in the Wawa. Trying to lick up some salt water. Probably thinks it's one great big dog bowl. This is a good picture here. He's looking at the water. In amazement at how much water there is. This is Max sleeping on, uh, on our couch in the living room. This is a close-up of his eye. You can tell in these pictures he's young. Because as he gets older, you'll see that there's more gray around his eyes. When we got him, we really never knew his age exactly. We, we believe he was anywhere from a year and a half to possibly two and a half years old. Here's Max playing one of his favorite games, Tug of War. Looks like there he's being mischievous. He doesn't want to give up something. Looks like a towel. This, I took this picture of him while I was sitting on the commode in our bathroom. This is a picture of my wife, probably just got out of the shower. This is in our living room. That's Max on our couch in the living room.
that's Max on our couch. We got Max for free from a family in Whitehall. They had three other Huskies that he, that he wasn't getting along with, so we got him for nothing. And um, we believe he was around two years old when we got him. Um, he died on uh, November 28th, around 1 o'clock in the morning. We believe he had a brain aneurysm. And we, we believe it was caused by a tumor that was growing for a long time on his brain. And it must have ruptured a blood vessel. Because what had happened, um, right before I was ready to go to work, he, he followed my wife out of the bathroom. And he hit the floor. And his body began shaking violently. So I picked him up and I put him on the bed. And the shaking slowed down a little bit. But he died, uh, he died about maybe 45 minutes after that. And there, there was some swelling on the right side of his snout. And for many, many occasions, he had a little bit of blood mixed in with his mucus. So when you combine that with the, the fact that he had swelling on the right side of his snout, like it looked like it was right behind his eye. That's why we we believe that he had a uh, a tumor that caused a brain aneurysm. You can see in this picture he's not very happy about having those things put on his head. That's in our bathroom. This is Max's uh, marine outfit. I made this for him out of material. Max was an Alaskan husky. I probably walked with him a good 3,000 miles in the years I had him. We had him for, uh, I think we had him for about 10 years, maybe 10 years and a couple months. So he was about um, 12 and a half, possibly 13 years old when he passed. He has a little piece of paper in his mouth there. That's his favorite game, trying to get the, uh, the thing out of his mouth. And uh, this next coming picture is him on the beach at the Outer Banks. He was at the beach with us for four times. We took him down to the Outer Banks four times. This is him on Beach Road. Now this is this one here. He's chasing the water when the water comes in. He was really just amazed with the ocean and he'd try to bite the water. You can see there he's trying to bite the waves. Uh, this, is, this photo here was taken near the Wright Brothers Memorial on the back side. This is also near the Wright Brothers Memorial. That day we walked five miles with him in the heat. This is still, this photo here is still at the Wright Brothers. There's a picture coming up where he's posing beside the uh, Wright Brothers sign.
There's Max at the Wright Brothers Memorial. We walked with him in that day. I think it was like 85 or 90. We walked five miles with him to get to that. That's at the uh, Vacation Cottage. That's taken in the Outer Banks on Memorial Boulevard. I think it's one of the side streets down there. That's at the Outer Banks. This is me and my wife and Max on the beach. This is my wife with a badly burned face at the Outer Banks. Looks like she's a bag of corn curls there she's probably giving them. This is at a souvenir shop in uh, Kitty Hawk, I think. There I am with Max walking along the, uh, the breaks of the waves. That's Max, looks like he's content on the floor. He has his little dino tag on his uh, tick collar. That looks like it's still in Outer Banks. He must, this picture here, he probably sees, he, the, my wife's coming back, and he um, he's, he's watching, waiting for her. This is Max Eyeball on the beach. This is me chilling with Max down on the Outer Banks. This is my wife with him. As you can see, it's in 2015. I think this was our second time down there with him. That's Max trying to run after the waves. I have my blonde wig on and this and a cowboy hat. I'm still rocking my blonde wig and my do-rag. Max got his nose and some seaweed. You can see in this pic, he's, he's a little bit older. I think this picture was taken in uh, 2017. You can see the gray around his eyes here. This was 2018, if I'm not mistaken. This is the second picture I, I ever took of him. The date is, um, this is probably about maybe within a week after I got him.
This picture here is of Max in his old home before he was given to us. This is a really nice picture of him. This is when he was younger, laying in a living room. This is down on the Outer Banks in a vacation cottage. This is a nice picture of him in our living room. You can see there's no white gray around his eyes. This is a younger picture of him. This is in the Outer Banks. That's a repeat picture of him when I took a, a picture of him when I was sitting on the toilet. This is a picture of him when uh, I was walking him in North Park, beside the North Park Lake. Another repeat picture of him with a piece of plastic in his mouth playing his favorite game with me. You can see he has a mischievous look on his face. My wife with Max at the beach. Third repeat picture of, of him when I took this when I was sitting on a commode. You can see there's hardly any gray around his eyes there. This is a picture of Max when I were, was remodeling our bedroom. I removed both those closets and he just happened to look in through the window when I took it out. This is a picture of Max when I was walking him beside the Pittsburgh Convention Center in downtown Pittsburgh. You can see the gray around his eyes here. I think that was taken in 2021. That's um, right around Thanksgiving or, or before Thanksgiving. There he has his raincoat and slash winter coat on. And he looks like he's pretty tired or he's laying with me in bed. Max playing ball with me. I think this was this picture here was the very first time we took him to the beach. That's Max with his sailor shirt on again. And um, he, he, see, he he must see my wife in this picture walking back to the cottage. This is Max on the beach, looking at the water again. This is Max eyeball on the water. Must really be amazed with that. And uh, this is him laying on the couch with me, relaxing. Looks like he's his head on my lap there. This is Max playing in the snow in my backyard. This must, because we don't have a chain link fence, this must be in the ball field, in the Boyerstown ball field. And um, he had, looks like he has his uh, sailor mm -hmm. sh shirt on there. Max has some of his jewelry on. We got him a gold chain with a gold cross. Must have had the flash on in that picture. This is Max up in the woods. This looks like uh, the North Park area we used to go to. 
There's Max in the North, North Park again. And uh, here's a bunch of pictures I put together of him. Looks like uh, the two down below are in our backyard. That's Max on the trail. I'm walking him on one of the trails that he used to like to go on. This must be one of the first pictures I took of him. Now this looks like it's in North Park somewhere. You can tell by the bench. That um, looks like it's in the North Park and one of the little streams they have over there. Now the repeat picture of that bench. Me walk with Max somewhere. That's in the Boyerstown baseball area there where we usually go for walks at. That's him in our backyard. Max in our backyard. Probably, probably sniffing around for a place to take a good poop. Max with a ball. One probably once. That's probably when I was playing with him in the living room. Now this is a repeat picture. This looks like my wife and him are playing tug of war with one of his toys. That's Max enjoying the outdoors in our backyard. We have everything fenced in for our, for our dogs. This in this picture here, he looks like he's real happy. If you look good in that picture, on the right side of his snout, you can see it start. His nose started getting a little bit larger on that one side. But like I was saying, um, we never, I never kept, I never keep my dogs on a chain. They never had a collar. And um, I never walked them with a collar. I always used a harness when I walked them. And they have, they always have free roam of the house and free roam in the backyard. This next picture, I'm treating him with a Big Mac. That's what I think. That's what's left of it. As you see in this picture, I, I, I cartooned him a little bit. This was uh, one of the first pictures we had of him. You can see he has a little bit of a pink nose in that picture. See, in this picture here, you can see the, a leather harness I bought him. That really never worked out too well. I really never liked that, that leather harness. He was able to, to get out of it a little bit. His head was always, was always come out of it. Here's what's left of the Big Mac before he started getting into it. That's a repeat picture. I think that's uh, her in the earlier video. I have this same pic. Now it looks like he's been walking with me. That's Max laying in bed with both of us. And you can see the key to our other husky we just got on the right hand side. That's a picture of he has his tongue out. It must be real hot or either hot or he's real happy in that picture. 
you can see Max, so he's laying on her bed again. Now you can see how gray he is around his eyes. This was one of the later pictures of him. You can see how gray he's starting to get. This is, um, but this was taken earlier, uh, 2021, I believe. When I first got him, he was good for walking five to ten miles every day. And then as he started getting a little older, he started um, only be able to walk maybe one or two miles a day. Well, this picture here is when he started getting a little sicker. You can see the rash in his chest from some of the allergies that he would get. He would get a real bad allergy. The allergy would be all over his chest, all over his stomach. This is uh, me and Max in Outer Banks in one of our vacation cottages. And uh, this is Max and my wife, Amy, at uh, one of the vacation cottages in Outer Banks. That's on the, I think that's on the inside of that same cottage that was in the previous pic. And that looks like it's in a vacation cottage because my floors don't look like that. And uh, that's in one of the vacation cottages. I think we were eating pancakes that morning. Looks like he needs brush there real bad. That's not an Outer Banks. And this picture here, that's him on the beach. You can see he has a different harness. He got his service dog harness on in this picture. Max got a water bottle. He's being he won't give it he won't give it up. He's being mischievous. He was real good for that. He's sleeping in one of his favorite spots. Or resting, I should say. This is me, my wife Amy, and Max, and now our Max. I think someone took this picture of us for us. That's Max sleeping. Looks like he's in bed with us sleeping. Looks like he needs brush there bad. This looks like a. 2017 or 2018 pick. Looks like he has something in his mouth there, playing his favorite game with me. Ah, eh, looks like I just came back from a walk with him. He's drinking water. It looks like he's in bed in that picture. I can't tell where that is. And uh, looks like he's trying to take the skin off his volleyball in that picture. Which he did actually. He did remove most of the skin from a volleyball. That's Max Lane in the living room. That's when he was in one of the younger pictures. You see he still has the, the pink on his nose there. Called Snow Nose.
That pitcher there, he's laying in, yeah, he's definitely in bed with us in that pitcher. I would take pictures of their paws too, that way I could compare them to later pictures of the paws. It's a, good, it's a good thing to do when you have a dog to take pictures of their face, their nose, their eyes, their ears, and their whole body. That way there, if you, if you think something's changing, you can compare it. This is me and Max down the Outer Banks on a vacation cottage. This is me, my wife Amy, and Max posing for a picture in the Outer Banks. Max on the beach in uh, 2015, written in the sand. Max watching his mommy write something in the sand to one of our friends, Pam. This is down in the Outer Banks. That's Max on the beach, looking at the ocean. My wife and Max down the Outer Banks. When, I, when we first took him, the very first year we took him to the beach, we didn't know whether he was going to be scared of the water and um, what he did was he literally pulled me down to the surf and he started biting at the waves the very first day when I took him on the beach. Uh, that's, that's taken in North Park, I think that's Upper North Park, North Ridge Road where this picture here is taken. That's a cute one of him posing for the camera. Here's a picture of him laying in bed with me. There's Max laying in bed with me. I must have the flash on. There's Max running at the waves again, trying to bite the trying to bite the uh, the waves. That's a repitch repit picture. Sorry guys. I mean I literally I took hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of pictures of him. Here's um I think this is a repeat picture too of Max and my wife. That's Max in the in the backyard in our house. But you know, like I was saying, there's I literally took hundreds of pictures of him. And I, I made dozens of videos. This is Max on uh, the Red Trail on Upper Upper North Park. You know, and it's when you make these videos and you, when you're you're loading up all these pictures, it's it's pretty hard to remember which ones you put on and which ones you didn't. That yeah, looks like he's bothered by something there. He didn't like something I was doing in that picture. It looks, I think he's in, on top of the bed in this picture. There's Max relaxing on the bed in one of his usual positions. Here's all three of us in, down the Outer Banks in a vacation cottage.
these Hoskies, um, if you're thinking of getting a Husky, you have to understand a few things. They need to be brushed almost every day. At least every three days you have to brush these dogs. And you have to use certain brushes. They have to be they have to be brushed down to their skin. And um, they also need plenty of exercise. The, this picture here is at Hartwood Acres. That's my wife and Max in front of the mansion in Hartwood Acres. But like I was saying, um, these Huskies, they need walked a lot. Walking them five miles a day is common. Um, I probably walked from the period of time that I had Max, I probably walked at least 3,000 miles with him, if not more. And uh, I used to run with him also. There's a, that's a repeat picture of him. Guys, once again, I'm, I'm sorry a lot of these pictures are repeating, but um, it's pretty hard to keep track of which ones I put down. Looks like he has his chest, his head on my chest in that picture. He loved, he loved me and my wife, loved us. You, know, you can see this must be uh, from 2020. That's probably a picture, picture from 2020 of him. That looks like another picture when he was getting older. This picture here is when they brought the Sherman tank to downtown Pittsburgh. I saw it and I wanted to get a picture of him standing beside the tank. This picture here uh, is of the right flyer that's a replica down at our banks. This is a picture of my wife with Max at the mansion. Some people call it the castle, but that's over in Hartwood Acres over here in uh, Allegheny County. That's also of um, me and Max at Hartwood Acres. It's Max on the trail. This next picture coming up is, I was walking him beside the, con the Pittsburgh Convention Center. That's actually water in the background with purple lights. I'm sitting on the toilet in this picture, and I took a picture of him, because he would literally, he'd follow me wherever I went in the house. That looks like uh, my wife with Max on one of the beach roads down there, one of the side roads. That's Max, that's a repeat picture, sorry guys. This picture here looks like my wife's either going to work or came back from work. And he's jumping on her to put hair on, put her, put his mark on her, put some hair on her. There's Max with me walking with, uh, this must have been in the winter. I put his winter coat on that doubled as a raincoat. There's another shot he's taking a PP, it looks like, in this picture. Looks like he's pretty hot in that picture. That's another thing you have to watch with these Huskies is the heat. They, they, they don't really take the heat too good. If, if you decide to go for a walk with them when it's hot, uh, try to limit your walk to a short walk and have water with you. There's Max with his, uh, that's one of his sailor shirts. And uh, he doesn't look like he's very happy in that picture. Here he has his other harness on in this pic. And this picture coming up, I think that's taken in Moraine State Park. Beside the, beside the uh, Moraine Lake up there. This picture here 
I'm on the trail with them. That's one of the trails uh, that I would take them on. This must be somewhere around where I live at. Now that's on that's down Outer Banks. That's Beach Road. I can tell because there's no hills around where I live here. There's all hills, guys. That's a picture of the surf. And uh, we have the right flower coming up again next. Sorry, guys. And uh, this is also down the Outer Banks. Again, guys, thanks for watching. I'm going to try to make a, uh, I'll try to load the videos I have of him. I have a lot of videos. I didn't want to mix them with the pics.